All right, back here on Study Ball, and we've already looked at the Monday matchup between the Cowboys and the Bucks. We took a look at the Saturday matchup between Seattle and San Francisco. Now let's take a look at one of the Sunday matchups, and let's look at the Buffalo Bills against the Miami Dolphins. Already played twice this year in the division, so it's fun to go back and look and see what I think is going to be key in this game. Now, no Tua, so we know they're probably going to go with their young quarterback, uh, Skyler Thompson, a rookie. So I can't sit here and expect their offense to go swing for swing with the Buffalo Bills. And so this is going to fall on the defense of the Miami Dolphins to create some opportunities for their offense. And they've got the ability to do that. They do some unique things on defense and specifically with their blitz, blitz package that can attack this Buffalo Bills offense. Buffalo Bills offense, knowing that, came up with some really good things that they did against them in those two games that they played, but it was kind of hit and miss. Some good, some bad, some good, some bad. So we're going to take a look at what they did and, and some of the great opportunities uh, and play designs that they had, but we're also going to look at how Miami got after them a couple times, got some free hitters at Josh Allen, and that's what they're going to need to do. There's going to probably be a lot of blitzing in this game, so I'm going to give you a little preview of what you might see, how uh, the Dolphins are going to try to attack and get those free runners and force a bad decision by Josh Allen and how Buffalo will probably design a few specific concepts so when they see that blitz zero, they get the ball out of their hands or they set up a way to hold the football and attack down the field. It is going to be a fun matchup to watch, but I believe that is the key matchup to decide who moves on in that wild card game. All right, so let's first just talk about what Blitz Zero is. Reminder to everybody. So when we talk about coverages, cover one, two, three, four, zero. What that really talks about is it talks about this, this deep area of the field, okay? So the deep area of the field, the deep zones on the field. How many guys do we have playing zone on the back end? So if we got cover zero, that means there's zero guys playing zone on the back end. If we've got cover one, that means one guy is back here playing zone on the deep end. We've got cover two. That means there's two guys each playing a half of the field in terms of zone coverage on the back end. Cover three, we've got the two corners and the safety, three guys. Cover four, we've got both corners, both safeties, each taking a fourth of the field in zone coverage. So that's what it stands for. So cover zero means there is nobody playing deep. So that just means that we've got man to man across the board. Man to man, man to man, man to man, man to man, and man to man. Okay, so there is no help anywhere. Everybody is in straight man to man coverage. What that also means is you'll see right here, the Buffalo Bills have five blockers and you've got six defenders up on the line of scrimmage by the Miami Dolphins. Because I have no safety back, right? That extra safety back there that I guess would equal out the quarterback uh, now we're saying, forget him. We're going to add an extra rusher because you can't block all of ours. And we're going to try to get a free hitter to the quarterback to force him to throw it quick or hopefully to get a sack. Okay. So the other thing you need to look at when you're looking at blitz zero, good teams, you're going to see they're all playing off coverage, right? All these guys playing off coverage about the same depth. And you'll see that they'll play outside leverage. A lot of times in man, you want to play inside leverage because you want to force the throws outside over the top of your head because that's the harder throw. But in blitz zero, they play outside leverage. Why? So they can get eyes on the quarterback. They know defensively that one way to beat it is to get the ball out of your hands quick to your playmaker. And they also know that we've got one extra guy rushing. So you can't hold the ball forever. So the ball's got to come out quick. So I don't want to turn my back to the football. So now it does truly leave a one-on-one. -on -one. You throw it quick. That one guy's got to tackle the one guy he's up against. Otherwise, it's a big play. We're going to all peek back and we're going to sit at about 8 to 10 yards because we think you have to get the ball out quickly enough. Then we can rally and make the tackle. All right. So look what Buffalo did in the first game. They see the blitz zero. They know that Dawson Knox is man-to-man -man right here with the safety. So what are they going to do? They know that there's one short in the blocking scheme. So they're going to motion him back, and they're going to let him block the edge. They're going to let him block the sixth uh, rusher there. Offensive line's all going to slide to their right. They'll take the other five guys. And this guy right here who's playing man on Dawson Knox has to chase him across. But because he's chasing, he doesn't know if Dawson Knox is going to go out on a route or if he's going to block. So he can't 
what we call add-on. He can't come running down here, and if Dawson Knox blocks, he blitzes to bring the, you know, to add on an extra blitzer to be the free hitter. So the Bills add on a blocker. The Dolphins aren't able to add on a blitzer. So now we've got those six guys picked up. Now we can hold the football and throw the ball down the field. So this is the first pass of the game. We're going to block it up. Look, it just gives Josh Allen an extra time with no free hitter. These guys are sitting at eight to 10 yards. Now it allows us to go get our big play to our man, Stefan Diggs, down the field. Boom. We're going to open this thing up. You want to blitz us? We're going to block it up. We're going to get a chunk play. So let me just go to the end zone copy here, and you can see what I'm talking about, right? Good blitz zero teams. They attack the gaps, too. So we got one coming here, 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 one coming there. So we're attacking the gaps. So if anybody steps in the wrong direction, we've got a gap that's free. Never want two guys going in the same gap. The other thing that they do is you see they've got their linebackers walked up, right? They're walked up because now it puts all the pressure on the offensive line to step and get their guy right now. If there is anybody that's a free hitter, even if it's an inside guy, we are coming free right now. If these linebackers were stacked and they were trying to do the same thing, that would buy Josh Allen an extra five yards to hold the football while those linebackers are trying to cut down that space. So we are cutting down the space by coming up in those gaps. Here comes Dawson Knox. You see it. We're going to slide to these five right there, all to those gaps, and we're going to let him fill that extra gap on the outside. That gives me the time to throw the ball down the field. Love it. Great design right there by the Buffalo Bills. All right, here we are down in the red zone. Same idea. Okay, blitz zero. It's man to man across the board. Here's the thing. A couple times down in the red zone, you'll see the Miami Dolphins that they have a spy. So instead of having, you know, a safety back, they're going to let that safety spy Josh Allen because we know he can run. We know the difference maker he is with his legs. So we're going to spy him. So we got all these guys walked up to the line of scrimmage again. But if we have a spy on the quarterback, right, that means one of these extra blitzers has to cover our back. In this particular case, they were hoping that the back was going to block. They blitz off the edge. They don't have anybody taking the back. Nice job by Josh. There's the free hitter. Nice job by Josh recognizing it. Boom, get the ball out. We've got an answer. We get a touchdown on a quick little throw to our back. Here they come again. Blitz zero. You're going to see it all over the place. Okay, so we're going to try to do the same thing here. We're going to bring... Dawson Knox, but look what Miami did, right? Now, one of these guys here is covering Dawson Knox. But you notice, he's not playing deep now. Oh, I saw that. I understand what you're trying to do. We're going to add on now. If you want to motion Dawson Knox, okay, and block him, right? You see it. Everybody is coming here, and we're going to bring it, and we're going to add that extra guy on so we get the advantage to that side. And you see it right here. It messes up the Bills. They get a free runner on the side. That free runner, bang, bang, knocks the ball out. Turnover inside the 10 leads to the first touchdown. There we go. See it? Nobody back. Nobody back. Across the board. Here we go. Here we go. Right now, what do we do here? All right, we know that we're one short, and we're going to – Pretend like we're going to bring this guy back to block Ingram here on the edge. And instead of blocking him, they're going to slip him by. Love this. Okay, these guys are coming. They think you're stepping up as a back to block him. We used to love to run the little slip screen, right? Come by here. He leaks to the flat. Other times we would go there like we're going to block. And then we'd slip right down the middle of the field and send all these guys out here so we get these guys moving in other directions and we slip this guy out and there's nobody to take him because he steps up like he's going to block but you see it right here steps up boom he slips out now we get the completion that we want but here's where i'm talking about watch the eyes watch the eyes eyes are back to the quarterback see him throw it rally and make the tackle rally and make the tackle that's the key to blitz zero you got to see it you got to see it get the ball out of his hands quick and then everybody's rallying up to help make the tackle. Man, it's a fun cat and mouse, right? What are your answers? What are you gonna do if they go blitz zero? You're gonna block them. You're gonna hit them quick, right? Are you gonna try to hit them with a hot? 
What are you going to do in this situation? And so here you go. They try to bring an extra guy down to block. Once again, you see everybody standing up at the line of scrimmage. We're gonna add on. Leaves three on three out here and you'll see, right? There's the add on. Here's the extra guy coming free, right? We attacked all the gaps. You guys messed it up. We got a free hitter coming in the B gap on Josh Allen, but what we do, love the play design, okay? These guys are gonna be outside leverage, outside leverage, right? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna attack Stefan Diggs on the inside guy, and then I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away with outside leverage by number two. Now Josh just has to buy enough time, boom, flip it out. We get ourselves an easy touchdown against Blitz Zero. Shell's the same. Everybody up, there's a free hitter. There's the free hitter, here he comes, here he comes. Can we make a play? Nice job, get the ball out of your hands. Now it's a quick hitter, right? You're gonna have some, you hold it and throw it down the field. Got other ones, we're gonna get it out, we're gonna block these guys and we're gonna try to make a play. Nice job, we'll take that. We'll take 10 yards against the blitz zero. We need positive plays, not negative plays. Running down, running down, blitz zero, blitz zero, blitz zero. Here we go, we're up in the A gaps. We're coming, we're coming, all right? So they tried to run that play again. Tried to run that play again. This guy's coming, we're gonna bluff him and go out here to the flat. And here's the change up for the Dolphins. On the snap, running out, running out, running out. So now you think it's blitz zero, you call your blitz zero beater. Now you get the ball out quick, but well, we're right there, we're playing zone. Granity drops the ball, but it's a win for the defense because you're making him throw it quick, but You've got guys rallying to it. There's no big play right there. The cat and mouse. I'm gonna show you blitz zero, and we're gonna have the ability to run out into coverage. Can you hold the ball? You know, do, do you block it correctly? Because here's another deal, right? So we're walked up. You don't bring an extra guy in to block. You're gonna free hit it. So now, once again, six defenders against five blockers. So even though they pop out, right? They pop out, and they really only rush four guys here, but one of those guys becomes a free hitter because you're stepping to the guys that are walked up. You can't get all this protected, right? So now you're forcing them to throw it quick. Now this time you gotta make the tackle, right? If you're Miami, don't get baited. Don't jump up in the air. Go tackle that big dude. If you've got an opportunity, you let him dip and dive underneath it. And now they get a big positive play on a situation where you had really won defensively got to make those plays. Miami's defense got to make those plays when they have the opportunities. You see it, right? This is against, uh, you know, the Bills. This is all the times that they ran blitz zero against the Bills this year. So obviously it's a big part of what they do. Here we go again, that same pressure. Here we go. We're going to get a free hitter here because they're all stepping into the box. Pop out, pop out, pop out run back, and okay, so we're playing a zone back behind it. Here comes a free hitter. Now there's a great job by Josh because he knows the free hitter's coming. His hot's going to be basically right there, but he feels these guys come screaming down to it. So he's gotta take that chance. Can I hold it long enough to hit the corner up over the top and really make him pay? And he does right there, right? Guy's coming, but he's coming from depth. I'll stand in there, nice shot up over the top, making them pay when they're showing the blitz zero, even if they're running out of it. All right, here's the other game. Okay, so again, here's the benefit. If you wanna leave this guy as a spy on Josh Allen, okay, then it hurts you in the blitz zero looks. Why? Because now we've got five on five blocking. You don't bring an extra guy. You don't have an extra blitzer here if you're going to spy. Man, if I'm the Bills, I'm saying do this all day long. All day long. We'll take our five on five matchups. You can stand there and wait for me to run and I'm gonna let one of my guys, I got a bunch of speed guys, a bunch of good players. One of my guys is going to win and win fairly quickly and get me a big play if you're not bringing that extra blitzer and forcing me to throw quick. Okay, so right here, you see it. Okay, he's spying. I thought this was the opportunity that he should have taken to get the ball out of his hands quick. But again, he's not worried about a free hitter here because this guy's spying him. So now 
he runs, he buys time, he throws a dime against the blitz zero for another touchdown. But easy opportunity here. You're gonna have an opportunity coming across here. So blitz zero, if you don't get that extra rusher, man, that really exposes your guys on the back end and Josh takes advantage of it once again. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here comes the free hitter, right? All right, now the Dolphins win. Free hitter's coming, right? We're good leverage. We cover this well. We run through to the back. So we saw the back catch the touchdown pass in the first game against them. They're trying to run the same thing. Good job by the linebacker to run over the top of that corner route. Nowhere for Josh to go. Boom, he's got to just throw this football away, put the ball in harm's way down here in the red zone. Boom, there's a win for the Miami defense. So that's the cat and mouse. Can you win more than you lose, whether you're the Bills offense or the Dolphins defense? And here we go. Here we go, blitz zero again, late in the game, right? The game is tied at this point. You're going to go blitz zero. This guy is covering the back here. So you're bringing that extra pressure. You're going to see it. Free hitter. Free hitter's coming. He's coming. He's coming. So now I just got to toss it up. Like this isn't the, the throw that we want. Against blitz zero, you got tight man-to-man -man coverage. I got to just throw it up deep. But, ah, the DB, defensive pass interference. You did everything you wanted. You got him to throw it up early. And you had an opportunity. The DPI right there sets up the game-winning field goal. Another win for the Buffalo Bills. All right, here's the other thing that I noticed when watching tape. Get down into the red zone. Where's Stephon Diggs? Where's Stephon Diggs? Because what they say is, I know they've got some good players on this team outside of Stephon Diggs, but they don't have anybody like Stephon Diggs. And the Miami Dolphins kind of took a page out of the New England Patriots playbook and said, find 14, and we're going to double him in the red zone. We're going to double him in the red zone, and we're going to force somebody else to beat us. All right, watch. Watch. On the snap, where's his eyes go? His eyes go straight outside. Oh, he's coming inside. Boom, I'm doubling him. All right, now somebody else has to win. Find the one-on-one -on -one matchup somewhere else. Okay, so you got one right here on a corner route. That's an opportunity. He took the fade over here. Davis goes up and makes a play. He wins the one-on-one -on -one battle. That's a win for us, Buffalo. Good job by Josh Allen to realize there's a double team. Find your one-on-one. -on -one. Touchdown. Here we go again. Where's Stefan Diggs? We're going to move him around. Doesn't matter. We're going to find him and we're going to double him. Here it is. Where it is. In and out. In and out. We're doubling him. Somebody else. Somebody else. Got to win. Man to man. All right. There we go. We got some quick pressure. Nobody's winning quickly. Forcing Josh to have to throw it away. Nice job by the Dolphins defense. Cat and mouse. Who's going to win more of these? Who's going to win more of these? Where's Stephon Diggs? Oh, he's right here. What's the safety doing? Safety's coming over. Everybody else is man to man. Somebody else has got to win the battle, right? He's looking. Ah, shoot, I wanted Stephon Diggs. Had a free safety there. Nope, he's going to double team. Got to throw it away again. Somebody's got to win that one-on-one -on -one battle on the other side, and Josh has got to find him. Where's Diggs? Right here. He's going to start out, come back to the inside, watch the safety, watch the safety. I got to see it and recognize it. That's where we wanted to go. Ah, this guy came down, got to be ready to go up over the top to the corner route, got to win somewhere else. Going to double him, man to man. Ah, didn't get the win, didn't get the separation. Buffalo Bills win again in the red area. Going to be key in this game. I don't know if they're going to be able to stop him the whole time. Going to get down here. Can you stop him in the red zone? Where's he at? Find him. There he is. He's going to push out. Come back in again. Try to win the one-on-one. -on -one. Safety's coming over. Love this play call. Okay? So we see it. We understand what they're trying to do. We got to get the one-on-ones. Here, push up a little bit more, and we got a chance at the corner. What do they do right here? They fake the over with Dawson Knox, and they bring him back on the pivot. Get the double team. Get the safety out of there. Nice job. Josh Allen, Dawson Knox, selling it like you're crossing. Break away from it. Go get yourself a touchdown. Come on, people. Who does not love this stuff? It's why it's the greatest game 
in the world. There's so much that's going on. There's so much cat and mouse. The chess match between offense and defense. Who's going to win this battle? Who's going to win this play? If I win more, do I win the game? Do I win in critical moments? Come on. This is what it's all about. Finding those little things that you can exploit within a defense or an offense and attack them accordingly becomes so key in big games, in big moments where you get one shot at it. It is one and done at this point in time, so you better be ready for all of those things or you better find those little areas where you can exploit the other team because that's the difference between moving on and going home.